as soon as our region of space slipped off the back of that blast wave, that's when time sped up. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm just going like crazy right now, but I'm just thinking, you know, maybe this is a possible idea. Maybe this is why, you know, because I'm a religious person. I happen to believe in a seven day, a literal seven day creation period, okay? But it doesn't, okay, here's what's interesting about this theory. Okay, it doesn't matter if you believe in seven days, doesn't matter if you believe in 4.5 billion years, okay? Here, there's another implication of this theory, okay? And I'm gonna get to that, okay? And, uh, okay, Here, here's the implication, okay? The implication is that, is that as soon as the wave passes a region of space, that region begins to evolve much quicker. I mean, the rate of, the, the speed of time just, just increases exponentially. And... Okay, we're looking we're looking at our universe now as 4.5 billion years. So so technically, technically, if we if we evolved, if our lives evolved on the ripple of a wave, then theoretically there should be much more life existing on the inside of that wave. So, so if we want if we want to look for intelligent life in the universe, we should be looking more toward the universal center. And if this theory is correct, where time is 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 quickly going by, then that's where we're going to find that's we're going to have a better chance of looking for life. Okay? So, so that's just one idea here. Now, now, no, we sh okay, if this is also true, we should also be able to calculate the center of our universe. Now, I may just be talking out my nose here or my ears. I don't, I don't know if science has already done this yet because I, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> I'm a religious person, okay? So, if this is true, we should be able to calculate the center of our universe, okay? The origin of the Big Bang, okay? So by using trigonometry, okay, to measure the distances of this universal wave of expansion all around us, okay? So in other words, here, here we go. There's a little, little diagram right there, okay? Okay, so what do we got? Okay. All right, so draw another picture. Okay, if we have... This is our universe, okay? Okay, let's say this is ex this is where everything's expanding. Let's say this is the Milky Way right here, okay? Okay, so, so if we're looking out and we can see the progression of the stars, we can see them going away from us faster, then, then let's pretend this is the center, the center, the, the, the universal center, and that from our galaxy, we can, theoretically, we could look this way and we could measure the distance of those stars that are traveling at a greater rate away from us. And then we could look, we could look this way and we could look this way and we could look this way and we could look this way. We can look through all those areas there and we can uh, determine by the rate of the universal Big Bang ripple wave all around us. And maybe I'm just being crazy, but theoretically, I mean, couldn't you use like pi, you know, 3.14? Which is, you know, it's like a, it's what you use to solve, you know, equations having to do with spheres and circles and stuff. So, by using that, 
logic and you know measuring all this shouldn't we be able to find our universal center and then you know get some kind of idea about where it is and then and then and then from our galaxy remember what I said if this theory is correct that time is traveling much faster toward the universal center than it is at the edge of the Big Bang wave okay so theoretically we should find abundant forms of life in our universe more on the inside of the wave more toward the center of the origin of the Big Bang now not directly in the center because because the more the universe expands the more the stars begin to go out and so there has to be uh, clusters of galaxies near the center but there has to be light okay so you know what they said is that you know our universe is expanding so much that eventually that it's just the stars around us here are just going to go out they're going to dim and fade so we want to be looking in areas where the stars haven't dimmed, where they haven't faded. And so just think of the implications of that. Just think of the implications.